Hey, it's Matt Kelly. We are test driving the future with the California Fuel Cell Partnership. I'm joined today by Brian Johnston. He's senior project engineer for Nissan, and we're standing in front of the Nissan X-Trail. Brian, I have to compliment your company on this vehicle. It really represents 10 years of research and development. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Nissan's really pleased with this vehicle. Uh, we started out with real basic knowledge of the technology and we've advanced it uh, significantly. Our goals are to be able to reduce the cost, improve the lifetime of it, um, so that ultimately we can introduce it as a mass production technology sometime in the not too distant future. Wonderful, and uh, it really just exemplifies the company's overall commitment to the electrification of the vehicle. It's not just fuel cell vehicles. That's correct. No, we've actually, Nissan started out on battery electric vehicles in 1992. Wow. Um, we started, uh, we've made good progress on the lithium based technology, and so in fact, we'll actually be introducing a, uh, a battery electric vehicle in the 2011 timeframe called the Leaf. Wonderful. Uh, the technology in that car actually is what is also in this one. Oh, no kidding. So we have an electric motor uh, that powers the front wheels. And this particular car, the, the electricity for that motor comes from the fuel cell generation where we take hydrogen on board with oxygen, which actually comes in through this intake right here. Oh, really? Uh, to produce water. And in the process of doing that, we generate the electricity. Hmm. Uh, contrast that to the battery pack of the uh, vehicle. Uh, we've actually got electricity that's stored in the form of our lithium-based uh, chemistry battery. One of the things that I think is really interesting is that you've put this technology into a mid-size SUV, but you're also deploying this technology across your vehicle spectrum. As you indicated, you've got a sedan that uh, is uh, projected to come out later on with the same technology. So it's a, a technology that can be deployed really across any vehicle spectrum. Absolutely. No, we started with the, uh, the SUV primarily for two reasons. One, it's a very popular market segment. Uh, and two, it, it does actually have a little more space in it available for new prototype components. So one of the big goals that we're working on, in addition to the cost and the durability, is reducing the weight and therefore the size of the components. Basically overall simplification of the system uh, so that we can make sure that it's, uh, it does what it's supposed to do for a long period of time.